what's going on guys and it's freaking january 2nd and that means two things one why is this weather so nice it's like 60 degrees right now very odd two it is uh three years since i started the channel which is insane uh, as you guys know i had five different youtube channels and nothing more success so uh, this is my last chance i said i've never done car content before i've always had gaming channels so i said like, you know what Let's try to do something like uh, Derek Barron, because I watched him, because he, uh, I watched his videos to help with my car, to give me some ideas and like tutorials and stuff. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try that out. And we are at 4,332 subscribers in three years. Not too bad, almost half, actually half a million, over half a million views total on the channel. I'm pretty satisfied. I gotta say, thank you guys so much for three years of all the support. All the people that's been around since the beginning, I truly appreciate you. You guys are absolutely the best. I love you guys. You guys are truly like a family to me. I made a lot of friends uh, from starting YouTube. I've done collabs, like collab with JD and uh, Jonathan Harder. A whole bunch of people. So just like I said, I'm forever grateful. And my car will not be where it's at. It will be probably the same way it was when I first started the channel. Because this actually, you know, piqued my interest in the car even more. So once again, guys, I truly appreciate it. And here's to another couple years. Alrighty. On to the main topic, we finally got Reaper a new heart. Um, you guys are going to probably judge or say something weird, but I got this motor out of a Ford Explorer. It's already downstairs, currently trying to set it up in the uh, basement on an engine stand so I can take some parts off of it because it is from a Ford Explorer. So once I pull Reaper's motor out, I'm going to have to transfer some stuff off of uh, Reaper's motor onto that one because the Explorer motors are a little bit different. But there is a cool pro to the Explorer motor and it is an aluminum block which is lighter and that is, that's pretty cool. So if you're wanting to know how much I paid for this motor, I only paid 350 bucks from the junkyard and he pulled it for me. So shout out to Elwood's Junkyard in Hagerstown. Man, freaking that dude always gives me killer deals out there. That's where I got a lot of my parts from. Not all of them, but a few of them. A good, a good bit. But yeah, so we're gonna go down and check out this motor real quick. As you guys can see, got the uh, motor stand right there. Just bought this brand new. Uh, actually, I had my pap go out to buy some bolts at the hardware store uh, while I was doing a few other things uh, because we don't have bolts long enough for the motor to go through here to have it hanging here. But I bought that because I know I'm going to, um, you know, one tear some stuff off of that because I don't need everything off of that, especially the engine harness, intake manifold, throttle body. Don't need none of that. So got this. I may get another one. So when I um, to transport parts off of Reaper's original motor onto this one. Pretty sure this one has low miles too because the oil is super clean and the motor where the uh, Explorer was an impound vehicle. The vehicle looks super clean. I kind of felt bad having it torn apart. But right here is the motor. Um, it's actually an electronic throttle body. I've never seen one of those on a 462 valve. But the throttle body is electronic. The um, intake manifold is the same thing. So I'm actually going to be selling the intake manifold and the engine harness. So if you guys like need any spare parts off of this thing, hit me up. I know she doesn't look the prettiest right now. She is going to be cleaned up. Like I said, I'm going to put on the end stand. I'm going to clean this thing all up, make it look brand new and shiny. Right now it's been sitting in the junkyard with the hood up for some time now. So the dirt and dust got all over it. Plus it's been driven too. So all motors are bound to look like that after uh, driving around for a bit. But she's going to be cleaned up, and actually, Reaper is not going to come back uh, the same. She's going to come back better. What I mean by better is they're not going to spoil everything, but there's going to be a few aftermarket park goodies, and here's a hint. This one's easier to do with the motor pulled out, and you guys are probably going to guess it. So go ahead and feel free to guess in the comments, but there's also going to be some cosmetic changes too. I guess I'm not going to spoil it. It's all going to be a surprise. But I am going to do a mini series on a, you know, getting his car back on the road. And honestly, I'm not too upset about being down because it gives me the opportunity to do stuff I didn't feel like doing before, which is the one that's actually coming up very soon, the one modification which I handed towards. So you guys probably already know what it is, but take a guess. She saved me some time with editing and not having to put this photo on the screen. I'm just going to hold it up on my phone. That's the uh, photo of the Explorer before the motor was pulled. Literally nothing wrong with the Explorer. The interior was meant to actually still smell like a new car. So I'm assuming this uh, motor has low miles on it. They didn't have a key to it because it's an impound vehicle. So there's no way to really check the mileage. But I am assuming and praying that it's a low mileage motor. Especially with the oil that was in it. The oil was super, super clean. Like, I put fresh oil in Reaper and the oil was like black like within a week or two. This oil is clean. And... 
I don't think it was just changed because why would you change something you didn't do payments on or whatever reason it was impounded for. I don't even know why it was impounded. They didn't even say. They don't even know. But it was impounded. It came from the impound lot into the junkyard and that's when I got my hands off of this. But I never, like I said, I never knew this had electronic throttle body. So if there's any Explorer guys out there that need a throttle body that says 4.6 liter SOHC, there's a good throttle body. I will sell you. Uh, just hit me up on Instagram for a price. Alrighty guys, so once we get this thing up on the stand, I'm going to pick back up the camera. Right now, it's sitting on the ground, trying to get it off the ground. Uh, yeah, we didn't have any bolts to really uh, get up on the stand, but like I said, my pap's out at uh, Lowe's, picking up bolts right now. We're going to get this thing up on the stand. We're going to clean her up and make her look brand new. Alrighty guys, we got the engine on the engine stand. Going to be doing some cleaning up. Uh, first, I got to drain the oil out, which... I don't know how I'm going to do that since the plug is right against the uh, stand, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, she's all mounted and ready to be torn apart and cleaned up. So I'm probably not going to do that in this video. Uh, I just wanted to inform you guys that I got the motor. Um, the next video will obviously be tearing this thing down and cleaning it up. But yeah, here it is, guys. Uh, got a few things to do. I got some research to do to see the difference between the two motors, of course, but pretty sure the difference is, um, I think the timing cover is different. Oil pump, water pump, I'm going to swap all that over from, <coughs> from Reaper's uh, original motor onto this motor. And I know this looks different, uh, the oil cap, so I'm probably going to take this off somehow, clean that up, and slap the Reaper's on there. And like I said, I'm going to get rid of this antique manifold. If anybody needs one with the metal crossover, I will... Love to sell it. If any of you guys have Ford Explorers that need a throttle body, I'll clean this one up and post it for sale too. So, also got an automatic engine harness. I uh, got a few odds and ends I'm going to get rid of, like cool packs. I don't need those. Spark plugs. I'm going to check those out and see how good they are. If you guys need spark plugs, uh, used ones. I mean, don't really have to buy used ones because they're pretty cheap. But if you want these for like a few bucks, you can have them. Uh, going to be getting rid of a lot of stuff on this morning I'm not going to be using. So, feel free to hit me up, guys. Alrighty guys, I'm about to go live on TikTok as I do a little bit of work on this uh, motor. So if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, uh, it's Reaper GT. Um, should pop up right up. I'm at 48,000 followers on there, man. I wish I would transfer over to YouTube. But um, yeah, so uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all the support will seriously help. And also, guys, buy my merch. Um, that helps out a lot too. Once you get, you guys actually get a good piece of merch, a Mustang shirt, whatever, a poster. And you guys help me out because it helps me out with uh, funding and the Mustang back together. Uh, I still need a few odds and ends. I do need a clutch as a fact. My clutch is so bad. It slips in fifth gear now. It's done. So, yeah, there's a few things I need to do. I need I need some extra funds, so that would be greatly appreciated. And also, to anybody that does buy my merch, post it on your Instagram. Use hashtag ReaperGT. I check it every day. And I will give you guys a shout out on here on here, and also on YouTube. Party guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, let's get this uh, car back on the road before or a little bit after February.